Hey everyone, it's Lisa. Welcome back. Today is Sunday and I thought I would share with you a few things actually, but the main thing I wanted to share with you is a package that Beautylish sent to me. It was a surprise and it is the Visart Paris Moisture Boost Oil Lip Shine and they've come out with four different colors. It says discover a lineup of oil glosses infused with the nourishing benefits of Reservatrol, grape seed, jojoba, and sunflower seed oil. Okay, and these have like all the peptides and everything I was reading on the website. So they not only do they give you color, but they're gonna plump your lip, <laughs> plump your whips, <laughs> plump your lips and condition. I find that I like wearing stuff like this like at the end of the day, after I have, you know, kind of done my full lip and makeup and I'm just not wanting to do it again, but I want to put something on my lips. Days that I'm just not wearing hardly any makeup at all, sometimes at night because it has good, you know, things in it, good um, moisture, peptides and all that kind of stuff. It says, universal and ever since, this curated collection can be worn alone, layered over your favorite lip color or mixed together to create your own bespoke high sheen finish. Weightless, comfortable, these glosses allow for a quick and effortless application on the go, on set or on the go. Mirrorless makeup never looks so good. Okay, they're vegan, gluten-free, silicone-free, petroleum-free. And they sent me the four colors that they have, and they're $19 a piece or $76 for the bundle. So here they are, and it's a good little set, like all the different colors. So... I just wiped off everything I had on like some lip conditioner and we're going to start with the lightest one first which is petal and it's very very light as you can see and this would be the one I'd probably get if I just wanted to wear it kind of like as a lip conditioner mm, they smell so good they smell kind of fruity. So I'm going to put on plenty so you can see. So this is, I would say, kind of like a, gosh, the poor male people. They used to be off on Sunday till Amazon. But um, I would say it does give a little bit of pinkness. I was thinking it was going to be just clear, but I can definitely see a little bit of that pink coming through. And... I'm trying something new today. I bought the Dior Air Pump or Pump and Volume. I bought it in brown. Their brown is just really pretty. It's really like a, oh gosh, let me go get it and I'll show it to you, hold on. Here it is, I just got it yesterday. And, but look at that. Let's see if I can get it where you can, where it'll focus on you. But look how pretty that brown is. It's just like a good, I don't know very chocolatey and warm. And I felt like if I was gonna try a brown on my lower lashes, I looked in the drugstore and most of theirs were like black brown or something like that. I wanted a true, true brown for my lower lashes. I was gonna kinda maybe think of that as like a go-between no mascara and some. And um, I really like it. I think it gives a pretty, a pretty soft look on the bottom. So that's, and then I thought, I saw this on my counter. I used today, I was, a lot of times when I'm using something like the Visart glosses, well then I try to use something else of there. So I used my favorite Visart palette, which is the 01 Basic. So that's what I used today on my lids. I used uh, this color, this color, this color, this color, and this color on my lids. Back to the lip oils and I'm sure most of you have tried lip oils before, but if you haven't, you have to because they really do. It's one of the things that leaves your lips feeling better than when you first put them on. It doesn't leave any dryness or residue. They just, they're good to have. Just even throw one in your purse. The next lightest one is this one and it's called Bay, it's, I'm, I don't know how to speak French. Beige net, baynet, I would say beige is what it's supposed to. They say you can mix them, but I don't think I'm gonna mix them. So that one, goodness, that one looks like it's gonna have some color. Let me pull you in a little bit closer. I always feel like I'm too close. I get closer than everybody else does, and I don't know if that kooks you out. I'm 
Okay, that is, that is pretty. So this is kind of a, I would say it's a yellowy beige. And it's just real natural. It's a good, like if you had much darker skin, this would give you that good, kind of like J-Lo lip, or I always think of Desi Perkins. You know, that good, like where it just kind of goes right into your skin tone. I feel like they even look better. Like after you put them on, they kind of adjust with your lip tone. So that is the beige one. And I'm just taking these off with Cetaphil wipes. I've noticed that it seems to, before when I was using like makeup remover or even my Costco wipes to do these lip things, that dries my skin out more and makes my lips hurt more than if I just use a Cetaphil wipe. So that's what I've been doing and it's really helped. Of course, they're still working next door, even on Sunday, so if you hear any noises, that's what it is. They're actually putting their, they're getting that cedar shake siding, so they're having to do that one piece at a time. That's why it's taking so long. And this is the Fleur, F-L-E-U-R. I don't know if you guys remember way back when L'Oreal, I think they might even still have it. It's like one of their classic colors called Sea Fleur and I had that. There were two of them. There was a darker one, and then there was a fluor something that was a lighter one, and they had like this pearlescent finish. And I can remember going to the grocery store with my dad in his truck and getting that lipstick and putting it on in the truck on the way home. This is the fluor, and it looks like this is gonna be almost like a, hmm, wow, there's a lot of color in these. So this could definitely be something good layered over. And they have that good, see how they have a good flat, um, if you can see it, flat tip so you can really get in on the corners. Okay, that is very pretty. That one has the most color, but this last one's gonna have the most color. So that is very pretty. That is just a good everyday, I would say this is kind of like an Angelina or a Rosie Huntington Whiteley color, you know, where it's kind of like that, your lips but better with a little bit of mauvey brown to it. And the last one is the darkest one and it's called Cerise. I'm a little scared of this one. <laughs> I know it's gonna be dark. Oh my goodness. Hey, these are nice. They have a lot more color than, they have a lot more color than like the Dior or the Clarins. I mean, these might have the most color of any of them I've tried actually. So let's be careful here. <laughs> Oh my goodness, okay. I wasn't careful enough, let me. Go ahead and do like your coloring and your coloring book. You know where you go, you make sure you get your edges right and then you fill in the inside. That is beautiful. I don't even like dark colors and that is beautiful. Wow, okay, so here they are, all the different tones, and I can see how, just for fun, just for fun, I'll probably mess this up, but let's see what it looks like if I put up the lightest color in, where's my lightest color? Here it is. And they actually sent me this little pack of Valentine's Day candy too, isn't that pretty? Okay, I love Valentine's. So let's do even more here. And I'm just gonna take my finger, don't use your wand. Okay, that's just gonna be an oily mess. I don't know how you're gonna, unless you did, let me take a little bit, unless you just created your own lip color on your hand like that would be, I think the only way I would try to combine them because they're, they're oily, but it's a thick. And the smell kind of reminds me of, remember those lip glosses, the Bonnie Bell with the roller ball? That's what they kind of remind me of, just like a fruity smell. Okay, I'm gonna have to blot this off before my lips end up just taking over, hold on. So that is with one blot. 
First impressions, I would give this two thumbs up. I am definitely pleasantly surprised with the pigment. I can't believe that a lip oil would have this much pigment. So, oil glosses. I guess they're because they're oil glosses infused with the nourishing benefits of Reservatrol grapeseed, jojoba, and sunflower seed oil. And they don't feel too slicky or anything. Very nice. Thank you, Beauty Beautylish, for sending those to me. Okay, I'm going to show you a pair of shoes that I got from Dillard's and then do an outfit of the day. Okay, so here they are, and if you follow me on Like to Know It, I saw these the other day in Dillard's, and I took a picture of them and posted them, and I just wanted to think about them for a little bit because I didn't know if I would be crazy about this strap. I knew I liked shoes like a mule, and then they were on my mind, on my mind. So yesterday I went and got them and they're Vince Camuto. So they weren't crazy expensive, but yet I know it's still a good shoe. But you guys know how much I like a good funky heel like this. And then you know how this toe is coming back in style where last year it really came back with like Bottega Veneta does the square. Theirs is a little bit more exaggerated. Theirs is wider. So it kind of reminded me of 90s, These, this whole shoe does and I love them. They're very pretty, and I'm not gonna wear them today, but I'm gonna show them to you with the, I'm wearing the same jeans that I wore in my last video because I love them so much, and they're comfortable, and I've got them broken in real good, and, um, but I think today I'm gonna wear them with boots, but I wanted to show you these shoes, so I'll be right back. Okay, so today I have on this, do you guys remember when I bought this blouse from the Nordstrom sale? It is just so pretty. I forgot how pretty it is. It has like the turned up sleeves and it's the wrap style, but it's got a zipper right here. So it's not a true wrap. And what I did is just wore a bralette underneath it. And I really like it. I like it. I typically don't like things like this, but this is fitting me a little bit better than most peplum things do. And then these are the jeans that I showed you the other day. And then Let's see, let me put this on the floor so I can show you the shoes. So here are the shoes. I apologize if my floor is dirty. <laughs> I did not sweep or vacuum before I did this video, but um, see how pretty they are? And my heel was a little bit at the back, but the front is going to stretch and my toes aren't already at the front. So keep that in mind because it's, it's not a real thick leather. So these are gonna stretch as you wear them and um, but I just think they're really pretty. They come also in like a, I think a nude, but it was a kind of a printed nude and I just wasn't crazy about them. So I knew that I would wear the black the most. And now I just put the boots on with them. I think the boots look just really good with these jeans. And then a little bit of feedback on my bag. I love it, love it, love it. And then for accessories, I have on two rings that my parents gave me. And I have on my, this little choker necklace. I've got it on like the longest, so it's not really a choker, but you can get it, you know, to wear like up here. I've got on that, the new necklace that I got from Oliver. And then I put on this necklace that my parents gave me that has like a, an anchor on it. And it's really too long. It's like going down in my cleavage, but I still like the look of, I just love all the gold necklaces. That's kind of like what I'm into right now. I've always loved that. Anyway, in my nail polish, I did finally paint my nails. This is the OPI Charged Up Cherry. So thank you guys for watching and I will see you. Don't forget to subscribe and give this video a thumbs up and I will see you probably on Wednesday. Bye-bye.